Hi, my name is Brendan from SSW and I'm here in the SSW studio with Russ Cam from Elasticsearch. How, How are you? How are you doing? So um, what's your role at Elasticsearch these days? Yeah, so I, I work on the Microsoft team at Elastic. So there's three of us. There's myself here in Sydney, there's Martijn in Netherlands and there's Greg in um, New Jersey. Uh, so we work on the Microsoft team at Elastic basically taking care of everything Microsoft related there. So that includes the .NET clients, uh, the Azure marketplace, and a few other things that we're working on in the pipeline as well. And how did you end up with that role? Is there any story there? Yeah, so I've, I've been working with Elasticsearch since about 2012. Uh, was working with it originally uh, to, uh, for a company doing something very similar to, uh, to what Groupon was doing in the UK. And uh, from that, uh, when, I when I came, emigrated to, to Australia, um, I worked for a large property portal over here, uh, building out search functionality for them for a, for a new product uh, that they were launching. So worked on that very heavily, uh, very complex search, address search there for them. So it was kind of a natural kind of progression for me, really. Yeah. And any exciting projects you've been working on more recently at Elastic? What are you looking forward to? Yeah, so with, with the new uh, major version of Elasticsearch that's going to be coming out, we're really keen and have been working on building out an MSI Windows installer for Elasticsearch uh, to make that experience much more native on Windows. Yes, because I've actually done that myself, and it's right now it's a blog post. It's not a difficult blog post, but yeah. there is a blog post to work through. There's a few steps, so yeah, yeah looking to improve that experience. Yeah, so we want to make that much more uh, native feeling, so there'll, there'll be a GUI there for you to be able to walk through through point and click to, to be able to actually install an Elasticsearch node on a machine. Uh, but there'll also be the, the option to silent install as well. So for example, package managers like yep. Chocolatey will yep. be able to download the MSI and store that on a machine for you as well. People watching this now, they've never tried Elastic before. Um, why, why would they? Well, what, is, what is it offering that, um, that, that you'd, you'd give to them? Yeah, so um, there's a few different things that uh, people generally use Elasticsearch for. So it's a search analytics engine. So any kind of classical search uh, where you need to go beyond the, the, you know, beyond the kind of, uh, you know, does it start with this letter? Does it end with this letter? Doing some simple kind of, you know, fuzzy matching before, if you need to go beyond that, then Elasticsearch is an ideal candidate for that because you can do much more complicated, full text, structured, unstructured search. Uh, but then uh, there's a lot of people that use it as well for doing analytics, large scale, big data analytics. Um, so there's a variety of different options that you have in which to use it. So I find it quite interesting that when the Azure team came on to actually add their own Azure search, that they actually went with Elasticsearch. Um, has there been any commits back from the Azure team back to you? Yeah, so we, we have a really good working relationship with Microsoft and uh, they have committed things back to Elasticsearch. So one primary example are shadow replicas in order to get, uh, in order to get Elasticsearch working better on Azure. Uh, yep, we came up with a concept of shadow replicas and committed that back, which was awesome. Good stuff. Okay, imagine you're a developer, you've just seen this, and you're thinking, okay, I want to give that a go. What's the first thing you'd look at? The first thing I would probably do is go to GitHub. Well, you can go to the Elastic site. There's plenty of documentation on there to get you up and running. Uh, but specifically for the .NET clients, the first thing I would probably do would be to go to GitHub and go to the Elastic account, find the Elasticsearch.NET client. And next to that repository is an example there of building out a new search, uh, NuGet, a website that uses Elasticsearch to serve up all of the NuGet data. So taking the NuGet feed, uh, indexing that into Elasticsearch, and then building a web application that uses that then to explore that NuGet data. So that's probably the best thing to start with. Uh, that will give you uh, an understanding of indexing, uh, how analyzers work, setting up aliases, performing certain full text search, uh, running through aggregations, how to use completion suggestors. So it's really nice tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial to, to get up and running. And yeah, once you've done that, then yeah, come, come with the questions, yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. And this has been another video from SSW TV. I hope to see you next time.